the Epilepsy Society Brain and Tissue Bank basically is a storage space um, of brain tissue that we get uh, donated by from um, patients who have epilepsy and the bank is regulated under the Human Tissue Act and by the Human Tissue Authority. We are actually storing the tissue uh, with consent and correctly use it for research and uh, since uh, we started the Brain Bank, which is funded uh, in 2013. We have um, you know, over 800 cases of epilepsy tissue, brain tissue, and it's a um, really fantastic resource for research particularly. Brain donation um, is uh, very precious and uh, very variable, especially for um, research. And uh, we're very grateful for the tissue um, to be used and we do need the tissue to be used because we need further research for us to basically further our understanding of basically developmental uh, development of epilepsy and the pathological mechanism that's underlying it and we'll definitely put it in good use. I'm involved with in a very exciting uh, project. When tissue comes into the brain bank, we tend to uh, freeze and fix tissue. Now, most of the time we try to uh, fix the tissue because this tissue can then be stored in room temperature and used for uh, pathology and histology. The frozen tissue, we only keep uh, kind of a, a few blocks and w the reason why we keep them is for molecular studies. So frozen tissue um, basically are better for applications like omic applications. Now what we want to do with this study is actually extract DNA and RNA from our fixed um, tissue cohort and see whether the quality of DNA and RNA there could be used for omic studies like such as the nano strand, the string which is a very new technology and we hope to get a lot of information about gene expression in patients with epilepsy and maybe correlate that with um, our neuropathology studies and also imaging studies and genetic studies as well. Uh, we have investigated the brains of patients with epilepsy in uh, different areas including inflammation, neurodegeneration, um, neurogenesis. Um, and most recently we have Professor Maria Tom and also um, Dr. Samrashi Paldia um, have published a paper in uh, the fantastic journal Brain and um, describing uh, the finding of um, serotonin pathways and its association with sudden death in epilepsy. So that's, that's really an amazing study using um, stereology, um, using over 300 um, sections from each individual cases and um, it's very interesting and we hope to further expand on that research later on.